Good morning, this is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Aberdeen police have arrested a suspect in a hit and run that sent a boy to the hospital last Friday. They've been talking with the suspect since tracking down the black Chevy Silverado involved in the accident. Security video from a nearby business shows the pickup truck traveling eastbound and entering the intersection of 6th Avenue Southeast and State Street. The light is yellow and turns red just as the truck enters the intersection. The truck hit two boys on their bicycles in the crosswalk. One was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Police say footage from security cameras helped them track down the pickup truck and the driver. Fortunately, in this day and age, there is a camera um, on, on most businesses, most intersections. So that is a, a very useful, helpful source for us. And we work it backwards from there. The injured boy is out of the hospital. However, police tell us he has a long road to recovery. Police say they will release more information on the felony hit and run later this morning. A Sioux Falls man was arrested after a fight at a Lake Ponset cabin. The Hamlin County Sheriff's Office says it happened just before 445 Tuesday afternoon. While officers were on their way to the cabin, they learned that someone was hurt and that there was a fight. The injured person was taken to the hospital. A 61-year-old man is charged with felony aggravated assault. The incident is under investigation. Authorities in Hutchinson County are asking for the public's help in solving the case of a stolen pickup and trailer in Menno. The sheriff's office says a white pickup and trailer were stolen just after 1040 Sunday night. The trailer has been found in Sioux Falls, but the pickup is still missing. Authorities shared these photos of a vehicle believed to be involved. It's described as a station wagon. If you have any information on the vehicle or driver, you are asked to call the Hutchinson County Sheriff's Office. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, everybody. Temperatures this morning, 40s, 50s, and even some low 60s in southeastern Kettleland. This afternoon, we'll have sunshine. We'll have temperatures warm to the 70s. We may have a couple of us in the 80s. If that happens, that will happen across parts of western South Dakota. We'll go with increasing southerly winds, I would say, over the next couple of days, straight through this coming weekend. And with that, summer temperatures will return this weekend, not only for afternoon highs, but for overnight lows. More details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. There's a lot of buzz surrounding the Castlewood School District after the U.S. Department of Education named the high school a blue ribbon school. For Castlewood, the award has extra meaning. The district is still recovering from a tornado that caused millions of dollars in damage. The students are resilient. I think they're just happy to be here. You can, you know, we we felt that last August, and then of course this this August, um, they're they're just excited to be able to go to school. And you know, last summer that was a huge question mark if we were going to be able to to hold school or not. And and you know, we still had to make changes and go into churches in in mid August. So um, you know, just just a lot of excitement. In October, the school district will hold another $6 million bond vote for more upgrades. You can find details about that vote in a Kelloland.com original by Eric Mayer. The Bishop Dudley Hospitality House offers many different resources to the homeless community of Sioux Falls. However, there are some people who stay right outside of the shelter that won't partake in the resources offered and have in turn been littering the streets with the handouts people have given them. What we are asking folks to do is to please not continue to bring these items and dropping them here. These folks can come into the Bishop Dudley House. They could seek shelter at a different shelter and they're choosing not to, but it's basically leaving mounds of litter. Shields says if you want to help the homeless community, donate to the shelters so they can distribute the resources that homeless people need and to make sure your donations don't go to waste. A link to the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House and how you can help can be found on this story right here on our website. A grocery store on wheels will be hitting the road soon and it now has a manager on board. The Eat Well Sioux Falls Mobile Market will make food more accessible in the city's food deserts. Luke Sensed has been announced as the manager of the market. Sioux Falls Thrive says the market will be making stops across the city and its neighborhoods starting next month. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? 
forecast as we get into the numbers. Quick peek at today. Well, those 70s will be out there this afternoon under a partly cloudy sky. We're looking at 80s for parts of western South Dakota. Keep in mind, too, winds will pick up in central Ketherland during the afternoon. I do want to quickly mention, too, on the futurecast here as we look at the next couple of days, uh, the numbers are headed upward. Now, it's clearly going to be warmer here as we finish out the work week forecast. We're looking at 80s becoming very widespread in eastern Ketherland, central South Dakota, probably the west, a little bit cooler, it's still in the 70s, though. You'll notice these clouds will come in intervals, but nothing too organized just yet. Friday, that could be a change here. We could see some thunderstorm chances in northeast South Dakota, so that'll be the next thing to watch in the extended forecast. Otherwise, I would say for Sioux Falls at this point, until we see a better attachment of that moisture link with the front, we're inclined to keep the rain chance below 20% in Sioux Falls on Friday and Saturday. And consequently, temperatures are back in the upper 80s. That's close to record levels, just in case you're curious. Now, records are still in the 90s as we get into early October, but uh, overnight lows, yeah, we're, if with those numbers verify, a couple of those would be records, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that information, too. The overnight winds will probably hold the key to how warm it is on the overnights. Um, Aberdeen, you're going to be plenty warm, too, Saturday, Sunday, in the mid-80s for highs. But the difference, the rain chance, is certainly better as uh, you see there on Friday, it shows up. And even from Pier and Points North, I could see there being some scattered rain on radar on Friday. Otherwise, it is warmer for the weekend. The end of the forecast is slightly cooler. No major changes yet, though, through Tuesday. Rapid City, generally speaking, a little bit cooler, but still a lot of days in the 70s. Pretty nice. Check out the details with the weather online at Kevillam.com.